Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn. If you're new here, do not forget to go ahead and click that red subscribe button. Also, at the end of the video, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. So in this video, um, as you guys can tell from the title, I'm about to do the Midwives Brew. And so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what um, it consists of. I've been having contractions since Saturday night. It is now um, Tuesday. No. Well, it was Monday, but because it's um, past midnight, it's Tuesday. So I've been having contractions right now. Um, on and off i haven't really counted them today but i think i should because you can feel them consistently now compared to saturday night and sunday where i felt them but then like an hour later they went away so today i'm just gonna go ahead and drink the midwives brew i'm over it um i know my body i know it's ready it's getting there and just i'm just gonna help it and give it that little push um to get me into active labor labor um with Damien, I did the same thing, and I say that it definitely works, and I swear by it. So we'll see if this time it works. I think it's going to work even better because I can feel the contractions way stronger right now than I did when I took it with Damien. So let me show you guys what it is, um, what it consists of, and how to make it, and then me taking it and then I'll let you guys know if it worked right, or not. So for the midwives brew, these are the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need 10 ounces of the apricot nectar juice. This is the same one I used last time. Um, you're going to need um, two tablespoons of almond butter, two tablespoons of castor oil, and then eight ounces of lemon verbena tea. Um, so this says something else but when i looked at the um, ingredients right, it does say that it does have lemon verbena leaves so as long as it has that then you're good to go i used the tazo last um last time also um but it looked different but it was you know almost a year and a half ago so it's, i think it's just the box that looks different i couldn't find the old one so anyway, this is what it is, and let me go ahead and start mixing it, and then, oh, and here's the, the tea, I already have it. Um, it's been sitting there for about three minutes now. Um, you can take it chilled, but I personally, I don't want to take it chilled because I feel like it's going to take me longer, and it should take you about 20, 30 minutes to drink it, so uh, let me show you guys how to do it. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add the verbana leaf tea. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the apricot juice. Now I'm going to pour the two tablespoons of almond butter. Lastly, we're going to go ahead and use the castor oil. Same thing, also two tablespoons. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and blend it all together. Alright, so it did all fit in my Starbucks cup. Like I told you guys, I am already having some pain, so I am going to just try to drink it as quickly as possible so I can start getting ready and act quickly um, so I can leave. So we will see what happens. All right, so it is um, 12.15. I have not taken a sip of this, so I'm going to start now. But um, I just wanted to say that in the last, in the past few days since Saturday, I've been just nesting like crazy so i know it's time and i can feel it right now like it's time and i still need to do some um packing just some i'm not packing a lot of things this is my third time so i kind of already know exactly what i need but i did want to go ahead and do um some padsicles which should be 
fairly quickly, I might be able to do them still and freeze them. And then when I come back from the hospital, they should be ready. I might film another video for that. So stay tuned. This is some lavender oils. Um, so this is gonna calm me down, relax me. <laughs> so. Here we go, let's finish this. There's not that much left.